Welcome back. We got time for one last call. 412-575-2600 on the Board of Some Boards Hotline. We got Kevin in North Fayette. Kevin, you're on the nightly sports call. Hey, Kevin. Yes, yes, sir. How are you, gentlemen? Good. How are you? Hey, man. Good. I, I just wanted to say that I, I can't see how the Steelers could go wrong by bringing J.J. Watt here. Um, he's a pure class act gentleman. Um, I, all the knowledge in that he would have to help people on the team, teach them, let alone what a gentleman he is outside of and helps his community. I mean, he does so much for his community down there, like the shooting they had. He paid for everybody's funeral. Mm. Um, he's a, he's a, a true gentleman guy, great for our team, perfect fit for Pittsburgh as what we love in a guy in Pittsburgh. You know, he's a, he just has so much knowledge I think he brings to the team that could help them. And then outside, the stuff that he would do for – the Pittsburgh community, I bet he'd fall in love and want to stay here. And that's so much I think he would love it here. And, then, and if he still got a little bit in the tank, so be it. Get him at the league minimum, whatever you want to do. But not just football. I look at stuff off the field, too, and what gentlemen do. With the, 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 hey, don't hesitate to, do, to help out their community. That's just my opinion. You know, that's a fact. He's a great guy. But not I don't wrong. see how they could go wrong. You're not wrong, Kevin. Thanks for the call. And I'll add to this. You talked about the shooting in Houston. I'll add to that the tornado in Houston and how it just devastated that whole area and all the money that J.J. Watt rose. I think it's a no-brainer as far as from a community standpoint, just how well he would represent any organization. The issue that you would have with bringing J.J. Watt here is Pony, he plays one position, and this team needs to fix a situation at like five or six. That, that's really what it boils down to in my book. Yeah, I mean, you could move him around and make him a situational player, an outside linebacker, a nose tackle. I mean, he's done that in the Houston defense. But, you know, if you're going to pay him more than the veteran minimum, well, now you're taking money away from guys at other spots. You mm -hmm. know, if this, were a, if this were a normal year and you had more freedom within the salary cap, then I think you could, you could really, you know, make a pitch based on the family connections here. But... You know, the, Peng the, the Steelers are so tight against things that I think outside of the better minimum, Josh, it's, it's a hard sell. It's a hard situation. I agree. That's it for us. Thanks, Andrew Filippone, for the time. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks for your calls. Thanks for your tweets. As I say always, it's you guys that make this show great. I'm Josh Taylor. See you tomorrow.